Hello, and welcome to Towpath Dippers. As we said, we're going to get more episodes out, and today we should be meeting some guest people. We've got George with us, and we are at a lovely mill. I'll just do a quick, uh, without all the shaking. And we are here before, and we're going to be uh, starting from this end and working back. And uh, hopefully, we'll bump into our new people. Well, new people, our guests. And uh, you'll know who they are. And as usual, I'll put their link in the description so you can go check their channel out. And then come and join us. See us on the first cast. Right, so we've been doing a couple of test casts because the uh, river's quite swollen. I'm recording. And uh, I haven't been finding much, but so far I've found a file. So. Uh, the rivers swollen as they are some of the uh, banks are inaccessible we got ourselves some wiggly rock wire uh, some more what well, oh no what is that oh it's a, a bit of metal tie um, so we are trying and all the way down there is uh, discovering Dorset which we thought this stretch of river was actually a lot longer than we thought, so, well, I thought. Right, let's keep going. So we had a quick go at the, the mill bridge, and we knew it was going to be pretty clean there, so we moved down. We got here. Um, it must be the luck of the camera. Uh, okay, we got some bits and bobs. Oh, we have a wall tie. Oh, look at that, that could have trapped my magnet. I'd have been in deep trouble if that trapped that. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get it off now. <clears throat> right. And this... This is different. Post, eh? That's like oh, not mat post, it's cast iron. Oh. And it's hollow. I don't know, but that's weird shape as well. Yeah. And it's got a hinged lid. Or did have a hinged lid. Yeah. So I wonder what that'd be for. I don't know. Bigger, heavy find there. I don't know. I'll, uh, now I've got myself a, my first magnet fishing um, vase. There's all weird grooves in it. Inside, there's like fillers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'll jet wash it when I get home, see what's in it. Uh, so guys, I do apologize if it is windy. Uh, we're storing Kathleen and everything else Oop. Oh. Um. Why is that happening? Been here half an hour, nothing. Huh. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, we have. Oh, very delicate. Well, we're going to be quarter lucky today because I've got quarter horseshoe. Oh, we have. Could that be a part of a scythe blade? Might be. And the obligatory bike post. George has had a pair of scissors and a couple of nails. So, oh, <laughs> I thought I just found a coin and it's got Polish writing on it. It's trademarked, it's not money. It says Zywaiik. Zywaiik or Ek. Don't know, I'll take that home and then get it translated. Put that in my bag. It goes to show though, because we have. Uh, been here for a good while wasn't finding anything so I had a little wander down found a file thought I'd put the camera on and we've got ourselves a little hoard and I've just gone and painted myself oh That one empty. And we have, okay, maybe because these are different pieces of metal that's uh, been tied together, see? I see these on like leaf suspensions and stuff. So possibly, could be a leaf suspension. Oh, there you go, look, you can see where they're all separating there. And then it's tied there and there. So it could be a bit of leaf suspension. Nothing better than a spring river shower. And on that one, we have what looks to be a steel walking cane. So I got myself a walking cane now. All right.
And a lot I got myself a and it's a good height as well, so that's perfect. <laughs> Guarantee that it'll dry out and then it'll fall apart. Oh, I can't believe how much I have sprayed myself today. Try and turn you into the wind so you're not getting deafened. Uh, a little bit of wire. I'll put that in the little bag. Hopefully I'm shielding you from the wind. But I'll let you enjoy the view while I bring that in. What we reeled in now, eh? Oh, good. The old typical corrugated. Oh, wait. That's got good GSG paint on it. Maybe Anderson shelters. GSG green, military. But then it could be a. Uh, Tractor green, I'm 100% showing the difference. <laughs> oh. Was that snag or was that catch? There we go. Oh yeah, some more of that green corrugated cheating. Which took, whoa, have we got something else on there? Oh yeah. Nail into the small find bag. Ugh. Every time there's a gust, I'm rotating you around, so hopefully it'll stop you getting whistled at. Oh, here comes a big gust. You can hear it, it whips through the fields first. That is stable, I'm not gonna sink.
And another now. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought that was the bucket handle, but it's just a bit of bent, cheap bar. Alright. I'm going to get this last one in. And then I will come back to you. I'm gonna stop the recording and then I will get back to you. If we find anything, because it seems we've hit a bit of a clean spot on this river. Sorry? What's that? George has found something. Yeah, so that more of this uh, green corrugated sheet nail. Okay, I thought George was going to come and show me, but he's just carried on. So I'm going to move up a little bit, and if I find anything, I'll get back to you. All right, so I moved, cast out, got a nail, a Corona extra bottle cap and a nail alright so been recording for the last well I haven't recorded sorry get it right we've been here another 15 minutes um, we haven't found much at all so we're just going to show you this last cast Uh, and then oh. okay that was magnetic but I didn't keep hold of it but yeah we've been here about 20 minutes and I've been working since that last spooky habit all the way down here said it was going to be the last cast and I was going to tidy up. Yeah, see it's all coming up clean so this is a bit of a dead area. Got another nail. Yeah. Huh. Well, I got something to rub, turn back to the farmer. And again, don't know why, but camera cut out, so I'll get back to you. If we find anything, I've still got a little way to go to get to George. So. Alright, so. I've been working my way up and getting closer to George, but George keeps moving that way, so I keep following. I just pulled up a square nut, and the thing George was going to show me earlier, 
is this. <sighs> my, my arms are burning, so sore. All right, so, and, oh, if I leave my magnet there, I've got my marker where I need to go and stand. Oh, without tripping myself up. See, George keeps running away. He does. See, it's like see of George keep running away. So yeah, George found a chopper with. Did you know the handle's not wood? It's metal. With a hanging hole. So like one of those camping axes. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, the hole goes all the way through. There we go. We got a chopper uh, around circular thing. He's also had a staple and a couple of other odds and ends. A part of a bike, he said. <laughs> right. I'm going to be aiming for the fence that goes this way. Once I get to that, I'm uh, going to call it quits. All right, so let's have a see. Do we got anything to show you? No. So, oh, got a, one of those U staple things, and oh, part of a bicycle sp bike. Her spoke. Cool. All right, so I'll get back to you uh, if we find anything. All right, so I was just throwing up that car stain. I seem to be having hold of something that's heavy. Now, is it going to be a scaffolding pole? <laughs> oh, you ain't going to believe what I got. No, the most random thing ever. At least I think it is an oxy, uh, uh, something that I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. No. Yeah. Hey? Maybe oxygen in it. Uh, it's got no marking labels on it. No. Uh, it's still got the valve screw in it. Oh dear. So it could still be fully laden. No markers on it. Huh? So there we go, guys. Guys, this is a question for you. What do you do when you find these? How come I didn't get that? Probably because of my bloody. Maybe it's not strong enough. I felt something down there, but yeah. never latched on. Yeah, what do you do when you find one of these guys? Because they have to be specially disposed of these. <laughs> you gotta cut them, you gotta cut them open to weigh them in. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> oh, 
10,000 shoes. Oh, oh Blakey's, you're finding more Blakey's down yeah. there. Yeah, Blakey's and, um, we like horseshoes, but uh, for uh, carrying the shoes. Yeah, Blakey's. Right. For your heels and toes. Uh, you seen the old army boots? No, I seen those. Oh, I've got a battery. Uh, oxygen tank by the looks of it, but there's no markers on it. So it could be oxygen, acetylene, even helium. But I'll uh, wash the collar and then see if there's any markers on it. Yeah, but I don't want the same thing happening with the thing I had to have in my garden for so bloody long. I had one of them that was five times the size. <laughs> it was up here. Yeah. It was about that, that thick in diameter. Yeah. I had to have it living in my garden until uh, till I could get somebody to specially remove it. It's been pretty uh, heavy. Hey? Oh, yeah. Right, so, we have got ourselves Victorian door lock. Oh, and it's got its markers on this one. It's got like a star on it. And it's got loads of luckies on it too. That's interesting because it's actually got his makers on it. Oh, I'll have to clean that one up when I get home and see what the make is. Uh, I think these are called mortise locks because they sit inside the timber. The door sits like that. Mortise lock. And we have a bit of framing. That could actually be a bed frame because that bit there would have your brace on. Cheers. So that was a column with uh, discovering Dorsey. So I have to bend backwards to uh, lift the camera up. All right, clean. All right, I'll get back to you if I find anyone. All right, so I just pulled up this. Uh, some kind of fork. I found some kind of fork. Or is it a pry bar? I would say pry, wouldn't you? Yeah. Looking at that? Yeah. Pry bar. Yeah, one of those nail pries, isn't there? Yeah. I got a nice bit of pry bar. Yeah. All right. If I can find anything else, I'll get back to you. All right, so on that one, we've got a couple of links of barbed wire. Eh, uh, bit of bar, bit of shape. Slowly, slowly going. Right, so guys, we have been from those bushes all the way down to another bridge where we've been getting lots of stuff. So we thought we'd start up at the other end and work our way down. I'm just happy to be out in the fresh air. Yeah, no. Tiring myself out. Yeah. Uh, again, I'll get back to you if we find anything. I saw on that one. We got... Oh, that's a first for us. George, that's a first for us. An intact barrel band. Wow. Intact. Good, isn't it? Yeah. We don't get many of them. That's Normally right. they're all broken up. So a firkin. A firkin? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> God. All right, I'll put that one on the fence post as well. We got five more fence posts to go. 
before we uh, put, our, put our thumbs up and say that this river is clean. So on this cast, we have ourselves a pulley and a bit of scrap metal. Uh. I've done that on numerous occasions today. Just trying to stand out the blooming wind. All right, see how far we can get close to this bank. La 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 la. And we got ourselves a little hook. Are these could have been attached to springs for like trampolines and brakes and other stuff. Oh, I've just gone gardening. Yeah, I just uh, tried cutting the bushes. All right. Ah. Uh, Another nail. And right by a fence post, you nail. <laughs> Bit of scrap. All right, guys, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. All right, so we're joined by Discovering Dorset in his friend Callum. And uh, I might have landed on something, but the only issue is, is that earlier I missed where the bank was and he went swimming. Yeah, you're out, buddy. Hello, Andrew's viewers. <laughs> it's a game of hunting here. Yeah. Yeah. You ended up hitting oh, shoes, what's though. that? Uh, Hello, what have you got there? Big chunk of cast iron. Another big uh, wall plate. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, little ball. Speaking of which, I found. I haven't got it on me, but just over the way, I found someone else's scrap, and then just in the bank, there was one of their magnet loops. Think that's come out the top of their magnet. So someone else was digging it and doing loads of stuff. Really? Yeah. All right, so yeah, I think it might be something to do with machinery, but that's definitely one hell of a blade. Yeah. Hey, but look at that. That's all right. So, George, blade off something. Yeah. One of those orcas or whatever they call them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> what you got? An orc? Yeah. All right. Let's see what George has got. I it was the sword, oh, hang on. Just thonged myself. It might be a, a hacksaw blade. No, it's not a hacksaw blade. File? Yeah, it looks like The semicircle files? Well, sort of, yeah. Or it could be the handle off of a cooking pot that would have been used over the fire, so with a long, extra long handle. Could be. Ladle or something? Yeah. Or something like that, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Wow. That's a big old chopper, that one. Yeah, why has he got the bolts for it? Because it would have bolted to two together. Yeah. Because, look, if you look on this side, that looks like timber that's there. Yeah. Yeah.
I guys, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Right, I'm having to film this on my other phone because my main camera died. All right, so we did find some good stuff, didn't we? It's nice to be out and about. We did meet up with uh, Discovering Dorset. Um, so, can't film anymore. So, we're going to have to call it quits for the day. And we hope you enjoyed this episode. We shall catch you on the next episode of Topath Dippers. So, catch us on the next episode. See you again.